how's it going? Just speaking to a chap in the comments section on the radio flow filter clip about how the water moves around the system. So I thought I'd just do a really quick little clip. Um, I'm a bit fuzzy today, so please excuse uh, me tripping over words. Rightio, to begin with, what we've got down here is the sump tank. In the sump tank we have a pump down there, and that pumps up through this black line, which is down there, it's fallen down, needs to be fixed, but up the back behind the fish tank and down through that pipe. What that basically does is raise the level of the water in the fish tank, and there's only two places for it to go. One is out this pipe here, down through the radial flow filter, and another through an overflow port at the back there. That's just if something happens here, there's a way for the water to escape. So, let me straighten the camera, just so the water can escape and not overflow the fish tank, and that line there runs directly down to the sump. The water level, because it's being pumped in continuously, has to go somewhere, like I said, so it goes out through this solid lifting outlet, out this pipe through the bulkhead fitting, down here and into the base of the radial flow filter. So there is no pump in the fish tank at all, it's just all happening via gravity from the water that's being pumped in through from the sump tank there. So just uh, the water level raises and rises and through gravity it comes out and just down through the sump tank, uh, to the radial flow filter, sorry. In here, um, this is where all the solids settled out. It was cleaned yesterday, so I'll just retard this flow a bit so you can see better. Um, it was actually cleaned out yesterday, so that's about um, probably about 24 hours worth of waste and one feeding. Uh, one lot of feed has gone through, and that's the sort of amount of waste they develop or will produce. See, I'm not too with it. Sorry, guys. Um, let's turn this back on. So then the water leaves out through that pipe there in the side of the radial flow, and we'll be going into another filter. I'm setting up there a biofilter, but that's a whole different clip. Um, it'll be, it runs out there, down through there, and into the line that runs over the back. There is an inlet over there, a um, bit hard for you to see, and an inlet there, and they run these two beds here. They're separate beds, and as you can hear, there's a bell siphon on them that flows down into the sump here. This bed here is set up slightly differently at the moment. Um, I think I need to increase the pipe size here to a 50 millimeter. So this one's actually been running as a constant flow bed for quite some time now. There's just water going in there. I've taken the bell out in the normal standpipe and have a standpipe of a reduced size in there. And so the water is only sitting in probably about the bottom, ooh, bottom 15 centimeters or six inches or so. Um, in the base of this bed here, which is enough for the plants I've got in here, like the, the parsley's got a tap root, the sweet potato goes all the way down to the bottom, um, the pineapple sage goes all the way down to the bottom, strawberries over the back look to uh, be doing alright, and the celery actually um, carked it finally after months the other week, so they're, they're still getting loads of water and loads of nutrient. So the water just comes back down into the sump, picked up by the pump again, and flows back up here into the fish tank and the cycle just goes round and round. So there you go. That's just a bit of a look at how she all works. A bit of a look at the fish. There's a nice big one there. So there you go. Not really an update. Um, just a bit of a look at what's going on. Actually, I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek. I'm over here. I'm actually turning this drum here into the new radial flow filter. And I'm probably going to replumb the whole lot with 50 millimeter pipe or 2 inch pipe. And this little radial flow filter here will be turned into a biofilter. I've got to enlarge the holes on the side to take the 50 millimeter pipe, but yeah, I think I should be able to do the right thing. And this little hole down here where the pipe comes out, um, yeah, hopefully it'll make a convenient spot to put in a little venturi or I'll work out how I'm going to run air into the biofilter. So there you go. Um, nothing else really to mention, I suppose, other than now it's, it's getting a little bit warmer now in summer. And I've actually been running, I've turned it off of the clip, but I've been running the air compressor as well. And that's bubbling furiously away down there in that corner there, um, just to add some more oxygen in the water. I'd really like to, I just, uh, the Venturi is working fine, fantastic, but I'd really like a dissolved oxygen meter, just to be able to know how much oxygen is actually sticking in the water. So, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a look at that. So I hope that answers any questions you have about how the water actually works. 
traveling from the fish tank via gravity down into the radial flow filter and then just via gravity all the way out through to the beds and then back into the sump so there you go so if you've got any further comments or questions or suggestions just pop them in the comment section below and i get back to you so other than that have a great one all catches